and welcome to the third part of our sew along. Today we are going to be attaching our fly front zipper to our jeans. So let's get started. Okay, so go ahead and grab both your fronts and lay them right sides facing. And you should have a dot here, right? You have a notch, and but you also should have a large circle that you transferred over. So go ahead and pin there. And we're going to sew from the bottom of our crotch up until we reach this dot and then we're going to back stitch. Okay, we're going to back stitch at the beginning and at the end. And you'll notice that my crotch is already um, surged. That's because I like to finish off the raw edge of my crotch before attaching my fly front so that I can have a nice finished and clean edge on the inside. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and attach our fly. So go ahead and interface one side and we're gonna be working on the left pant leg and you should see two notches on your pant leg and then also two notches on your fly. So I went ahead and uh, interfaced it and I just surged the raw edges of mine, but you can turn under a quarter inch and then stitch close to the edge, that's up to you. Now go ahead and pin right sides facing and pin first where the double notches are, just to make sure that you're aligned. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to pin right at that dot, right? So where we had stopped stitching our pant legs together, that's exactly where we're gonna stop and start our fly front. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to stitch from this dot all the way up using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Make sure to back stitch at the dot. Okay, now make sure that your right pant leg is completely moved out of the way. And you wanna put your needle in exactly where that dot is. That's why I have my pin so it's easy to know exactly where that is. And go ahead and back stitch and then sew all the way up. And back stitch. Okay, now we're gonna trim above the dot. Okay, so don't trim below the dot, trim above the dot, all the way up. We're gonna trim this seam allowance. Go ahead and press your fly. And grab your zipper. So I've moved my right pant leg completely out of the way. And I'm gonna lay my zipper teeth down. And I want my zipper to extend a quarter inch over my seam line, okay? So I'm going to place it about a quarter inch from the very top and a quarter inch over. So it should be extending, your zipper tape should be extending about a quarter inch over your seam line. And I'm just gonna pin mine in place. And then check a little further down and pin in place again. And now we're gonna go ahead and baste down the other side of our zipper tape. And starting at the bottom, I'm gonna back stitch and I'm gonna sew my zipper tape down. I'm gonna move my zipper pull out of the way. And back stitch. Okay, now go ahead and turn your fly to the inside and press it. And I'm just going to pin it in place. Turn this over so you can see.
Okay, and now what we're going to do is on the other side, on the right side, we're going to press 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, now once we have our fly pinned in place, we're going to go ahead and top stitch. So we're going to top stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edge. And I don't want you to catch your zipper or any of the right front, okay? So make sure that it's completely out of your way. And we're just going to top stitch from just below our dot where we stopped, started stitching all the way up the edge. Okay, so I have my zipper open and my right pant leg is completely out of the way. And we're going to start at the bottom. And I want you to back stitch the beginning. And remember, we're stitching about an eighth of an inch away from the folded edge. And go slow because this is your top stitching. It's going to be very visible. Okay, so now we're going to stitch the right front to our zipper. So go ahead and open your zipper up. And we're going to sew so that the folded edge that we pressed is along the side of our zipper teeth, the way you see here. So go ahead and pin it in place and we're going to baste it first just to make sure that it lines up nicely and then we'll do a, a final stitch. Now we can stitch close to the edge. I went ahead and hand basted my uh, zipper tape in place just to make sure it lays flat and now I'm going to stitch close to the edge. Go ahead and close your zipper. Okay, so when you have it sewn down and you close your zipper, your left side will overlap your right side. So you wanna make sure that that's happening, right? You don't wanna see the other side of your zipper. Now we're gonna use our underlap. So what I want you to do is with wrong sides facing, I want you to fold it in half and you're going to zigzag or surge along the bottom and along the notched edge. Okay, now I have pulled my zipper pull completely out of the way. I always use a longer zipper than instructed in, in the patterns usually so that I can pull my zipper pull completely out of the way while I'm working. So if you can manage to get into yours and pull it down to the bottom, then it's easier to attach the other side of the zipper, or in this case, the underlap. So what we're going to do is we're going to pin this to the right pant leg. And this right pant leg should have also two notches, right, that are sitting right behind that zipper tape. And your underlap also has two notches. So you're going to align those and you're going to pin. And we're only going to be sewing right along the edge meaning we don't want to catch the pant. We only want to stitch on the seam allowance. And I know there isn't much there because we trimmed it and then we have um, our, our stitching. So we don't have a whole lot of room. So I'm just going to pin and we're going to, like I said, stitch very close to the edge through all layers, only on our seam allowance and our underlap. Okay, so as you can see, I have everything to the left of me. The only thing that I'm stitching on is, like I said, our seam allowance and our underlap. Back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do our top stitching for our fly front. 
Now, you usually would transfer those markings in the very beginning, and so a lot, of, and most people do. I like to transfer mine at the very end because I like to make sure that my zipper is laying nice and flat. And then what I do is I use my fly pattern piece as a guide, and I press about three quarters of an inch um, under, and then just hide that little corner there. And I'm going to use this as my guide. Um, I find that a lot of times the fly top stitching is too wide and I don't really like that so I use this as my guide and then I just trace around it. So I'm going to go ahead and pin here just right onto my table so just so it doesn't move on me. And I'm placing the edge right along the edge of my fly. And then using a chalk pencil, I just make a couple of lines that I can follow when I'm sewing. Now you can transfer your markings however you like if you have a particular method you use. And now when you go to the sewing machine, using your top stitching thread, we're going to follow that guide, and then we're going to stitch another row a quarter inch away from the first one. And before we start uh, top stitching, I want you to go ahead and move your underlap completely out of the way. I'm actually going to pin it so that it doesn't get in the way or gets caught in my top stitching. to my normal foot. Be careful when you get to the end that you don't break a needle. So you want to go slow, okay, because you have zipper teeth there. And now you're going to do another row of stitching about a quarter inch away from your first. Okay, now I'm going to continue my top stitching where we had stopped close to the edge through the crotch. So I have my seam allowances towards the right side of my pants. And I'm going to put my needle in where I stopped and then I'm just going to continue. So I'm going to make a couple of bar tacks just for aesthetic purposes only. You don't have to do it, but I like to do it. I use a very narrow zigzag stitch. And you can always look at your jeans and see what it is that you like, like what kind of top stitching it has, where the bar ta tacks are at, and then you can just you know, decide how much top stitching you want to do. And then I'm gonna do one more right at the crotch through all thicknesses. Now the last step after you've done your top stitching is to Go ahead and tack down your underlap. I'm gonna tack mine to my zipper tape and I'm just gonna do a couple of stitches so you won't um, have your underlap opening every time that you open your fly. So we're just gonna tack it down just a couple times. And now you have a finished fly front zipper. Okay, I hope that wasn't too difficult. Now next week we're going to attach front to back and we're going to do our waistband. Until then, peace.